What is good, y'all? Xeno 2.0 here, and today we're going to be talking about the top things I want in Xenoblade Chronicles 3's combat system. I've played all three of the Xenoblade Chronicles games and have put so many hours into the combat and always try to find new things and setups to work with. Hope you guys enjoy. First up on the list is a combo-like system. Now all the Xenoblade games have had different combo-like systems. In the first game, one thing I did enjoy about it was that you had to lower the opponent's defense in order to break and then topple them. Now even if you didn't have the longest topple, you were able to dish out as much damage as possible without taking any damage as the opponent could barely move. This is a nice way as you pretty much need a strategy going into a fight. Another thing I did enjoy is that Xenoblade Chronicles 2 took it a step further. They allowed you to launch the opponent and then smash. This allowed you to do a lot of cool blade combos so that you can dish out even more damage and give you more bonuses. That is something that I really would like to see come back in the newer games and we can get extra bonuses and big damage, especially with supers. Now, I would like to say I do want a little bit more of Xenoblade Chronicles X as well. I would like you having to hit certain requirements in order to dish out more damage. The combo system in Xenoblade X was more like if you did this move and after you performed this move, you would do critical damage and you would inflict a certain type of weakness onto the opponent. I like the thought of that because it seems like more of a combo system where you could chain moves together. And it felt very rewarding as you pretty much had to make sure to set those requirements. Inflicted all that you needed onto the opponent to dish out the big damage. I don't know how they could take this a step further, but in my opinion, I would like more of a combination of all three. Maybe you have different routes you can go. And depending on which route you go is how you can dish out the amount of damage that you want. I think it's important that you can have multiple strategies going into a fight instead of it being just one. And it can be a little bit overpowered, especially if you master the game. We all know that when these games go a lot deeper and we get a lot more into the combat, we kind of break the system. But having multiple ways to go about a fight can make the game with way more variety. Another thing to add on to all that is make sure you actually have a visual tutorial for the game. That is something that is very, very important because a lot of the players may not have played the other games, you might have a completely newcomer, but even if we know, whatever changes you might do, we would like to be able to visually see it. So that is one thing I need you guys to add, visual, actual demonstrations of how to go about it instead of just telling us either in a manual or just artwork pretty much showing it like that, like a, your, your traditional tutorial is just telling you to press click it. Nah, it would be nice to see a visual tutorial. Another thing I would like to return is to bring back art palettes from 1 and X. There's something about having many arts at your disposal that makes it feel a lot more awesome. However, I would love canceling and a way of recharging your arts from 2 to come back. Being able to use your battle arts constantly did have violence problems, but there's something fun allowing us to cancel arts into others. Makes the combat feel a lot faster and you could dish out a lot more damage. It would be really cool if we could pretty much set the requirements like I said before and be able to just cancel boom 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 to make the combat feel a lot more lively. Maybe that could be a reward for putting so many hours into the game and we find a lot more ways. It will kind of be like how X had art cooldown and how um, Sharla has a similar art to that that allows people to use their arts a lot quicker. One thing I want to return is the quick time events that we saw from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Now quick time events have been something we've seen in 1 and X but it was at the press of just the B button to increase your tension and for Xenoblade Chronicles 1, it was to increase tension at the beginning of a battle and also to see the future. However, I would like to see how Xenoblade Chronicles 2 implemented it where it was during the supers of the blade combos. And I think that was so awesome because not only did you get to see cinematic supers and see how they get to do them or whatever, right, with the blade and driver, it made you feel a lot more interactive with the combat and depending on if you did it perfect, you would get a bonus, which is so great make it feel more interactive because Xenoblade is kind of in this middle where it's not really an action or a turn base which makes it very special but a little bit of more interactive things makes the game feel even more lively. One thing I really did enjoy about Xenoblade Chronicles 2 was the auto attack cancelling. It allowed you to fill up your arts a lot faster because that game was depending on how many auto attacks you were landing in order to build up those arts right but I do like the mobility that you have in 1 and X where you can move around shoot but it didn't really make too much of a difference you moving didn't really make it so that you can dodge moves however in Xenoblade Chronicles 1 positioning was a very important thing there were a lot of positioning things in Xenoblade Chronicles X as well but 
I would say auto attack canceling is a lot better as it pretty much makes the combat feel a lot faster. Bring back the switches from Torna, the Golden Country. I think that combat is something that they need to look at for this game as the game doesn't look like there are um, this sort of blade and driver style of gameplay like we saw from 2. But being able to switch on the fly with your team would be a humongous step, right? And it will almost be reminiscent to what they did in Torna. I would like this because obviously, maybe the AIs aren't the best. Maybe they didn't program them the best, but being able to switch in that way will allow way more freedom. And who knows, if it goes with the thing I said about Team Supers, it would be even cooler as you can set up all the tension for everybody so you guys can dish out more damage. You can set up buffs with this character, put it on this character, yada, yada, yada. Oh, you're about to die, switch to the healer, heal the tank, whatever. Well, however you're going about the fight, you can do it. And I think that would be an awesome addition. This is kind of like Tales of Arise where you can kind of switch on the fly. And it also does have Team Supers. But that is kind of where I'm getting at. Another thing I really want them to bring back is the gear system that we had in 1X and with Poppy Cutie Pie. I think having that sort of customization where you can go the full range attack or strength up, having to mix up agility, being able to set up a back attack damage is very, very awesome. And the way how these games scale is that it all worked so perfectly for how the games were set up. And in Xenoblade Chronicles 2, one of the main reasons why I love that game was how they made you set up Poppy Cutie Pie, where you can pretty much make her however you want. She's kind of like the pseudo-created blade, but not really. She's the preset blade that you can just build however you want, which I love so much. And I think if they can't go that route, bring back some form of Poppy Cutie Pie. Hopefully she didn't turn bad or they didn't use her as a monster. Um, like that scene we saw with Mithra and the other poppy where they don't she didn't want to be used for destruction and if that's not the case then everything's all good and we're gonna see a sort of pseudo poppy cutie pie maybe with one of the no pawn maybe he'll follow in uh torah's um footsteps and he'll have his own um poppy cutie pie type blade who knows it'll be like the r2d2 of xenoblade poppy cutie pie has seen it all <laughs> i'm rambling on but some sort of form of customization, I think, even if it's not within the characters, but at least one thing would be like that, and I would love that. The last thing I do want is every character to have their own specific bonus that they get. You don't know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about a talent art. I think it was really cool, unless you were Sharla, that each got a talent art. However, I would like them to make a spin on this. I would like that if they have max tension, they get their own special move. Let's say if you're not going to do the blade system, maybe we can see the cinematic supers in that route and how depending on the affinity and tension in the match, we can see them do team supers. That's kind of me building on the team supers concept, but I think this is the way they can go about it and it will be really, really cool. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed that small list that I had. I think it would be very cool to see these things in the game. I feel like allowing the players to have the customization mixed up from all the games would be very, very cool. Obviously, that's a dream, but this game seems like it's going to be a dream come true as well, mixing in all the universes together. So I would love this. I didn't mention any scale. You know, I didn't mention the scale combat in the <laughs> from Xenoblade Chronicles X. Well. I'm gonna keep it a stack. I think the scale combat is fun until you make your scale pretty broken and it becomes pretty much just something used for transportation. But I like the ground combat and that's why I didn't mention the scales at all. But if it's in there, hey, it's a bonus. But that's all I have for now. I hope you guys have had a good one and let me know what you guys want in the comment section below. Have a good one, y'all. Cheers.